So, welcome to today's class and this is on comparatives. What are comparatives? When we compare 1 degree, now these are basically adjectives and when we compare 1 degree to another or with another. So, someone is very good, but someone else can be better and there could only be one best. So, this is the degrees, all these are adjectives. So, these are yeah, you can think of n number of examples, bad, worse, worst. So, these are comparatives and why do engineers need comparatives? Because you need to compare degrees, this thing is longer than that thing, you know the, a highway when you are building or drawing a map for a bridge or for a highway. This is more or less, shorter or longer, uh, heavier or lighter. So, these are the things that you need in your day to day language. Therefore, we may need to look at what are adjective, uh, what are comparatives. Now, um, look at these examples. Here are some uh, examples done for you. Line A is longer than line B. So, longer than this is a comparative plywood is cheaper than look at think of any other kind of wood maybe rose, rose wood or teak or pine plywood is cheaper so cheap becomes a, an adjective and a comparative okay um, sulfuric is more dangerous so again more is your more is your comparative you do not say dangerous sir See, this is also we have to keep in mind that there are some adjectives which can be uh, used uh, with an er or an est in order to denote or suggest uh, comparison and superlatives. However, there are some adjectives which require only more, they do not take the er form. So, we will I will give you the rules also. First, let us go on and look at the other examples. Sea water contains more salt than ordinary water. So, more is your comparative. We say more or most hmm? and then filter water is safer to drink than regular water. Some of the points that you should remember when you are doing comparatives are that short adjectives usually take the er and the est that is comparative and the superlative form as in big, bigger, biggest short, shorter, shortest, okay. So, the hot, hotter, hottest, long, thin, look at all the variations and you will get er and est forms. However, long adjectives take more and most with them. So, you, uh, words such as beautiful, you do not say beautiful is famous, you do not say famousest, but more famous, most famous. Expensive, more expensive, most, in, uh, ex, uh, most expensive, intelligent, more intelligent, most intelligent. So, it depends on the word. So, one rule does not apply to all the words. Also, remember that the, uh, the uh, comparatives such as more or less, they are used with singular nouns and the comparative fewer is used with plural nouns. For example, fewer machines were bought this year. A diesel engine, which is a singular noun, is more efficient than a gasoline engine. Okay. So, this is the way we use comparatives. Now, I am going to draw out two figures for you. You know what these figures are. I do not have to explain. You know one is a square and one is a triangle. Now, what I want you to do is take a moment and compare the two figures using the words and I am giving you the words for comparison, the points to be compared A, area, B, number of sites, C, length of the sites and 4, a comparison of the size of the angles, area, number of sites length of the sides and a comparison of the size of the angles. How would you do that? This is something that I would like you to do 
on your own. Um, now, um, another thing that I want you to do is take two bikes, bike A and bike B and write a composition comparing uh, the two bikes on the basis of price that is the cost, how much uh, each one costs, engine efficiency, fuel consumption, the length and height and the color of the bikes, their speed and their advertisement strategies. I will repeat, I want you to take two bikes and write a composition, a short paragraph comparing the price, the two bikes on the basis of their price, engine efficiency, fuel consumption, the look or the looks of the two bikes by, of, by way of their height, weight, length, color, their speed and also the way the manufacturers have used various advertisement strategies for each bike. Some of the rules that uh, one uh, must remember is that when adjectives end in a, a consonant plus y. So, let us say um, you know cons what are consonants, we have vowels a, e, i, o, u and the rest of the words or sounds are consonants. So, when uh, an adjective ends in consonant plus y, they take i, e, r as comparative and i, e, s, t as the um, uh, uh, superlative. For example, look at the word lovely, lovely l o v e l y. So, it ends with a consonant and y. Then you have a uh, um, heavy h e a v y and then you will see how this rules, th how this rule applies lovelier, loveliest, heavy, heavier, heaviest. Um, I would like you to now look at this particular slide and identify the comparative form which is wrong, which is not accurate. Bigger, shorter, windier, windier, fatter, fattest. Let us look at the first one, big, bigger, biggest. So, this is right, short, shorter, shortest, but the spelling is wrong. We do not need double T here. In some cases we may, in this case we do not. Windier, which one is correct? Third or the fourth? The fourth one, windier, Y is converted into I when we compare it to, when we use the comparative degree. Fatter, F A T T E R, not this. So, we need to uh, use a double T here in order to make it into comparative and fattest is correct. Now, um, I am going to uh, give you a listening passage okay? and I first before we start I would like you to look at the questions and then I will read out the passage, you would not be able to see the passage. I am going to just read out the passage for you. First look at this slide and read the questions, take down these questions and then I will be reading out the passage for you, you would not be shown the passage. So, I will read out the questions for you, look at the slide. What does a comparison between a typical 12 liter uh, 4 stroke engine and a 7 liter 2 stroke engine having the speed, same speed range would show? Almost dash the power can be developed with a 2 stroke engine compared with a 4 stroke engine. Third question. In a dash engine, the same parts generate power and empty and fill the cylinder. With fourth question, with a two stroke engine, dash more air consumption is necessary for the same power output. Fifth, the time available for dash and filling a cylinder is considerably less in a two stroke cycle engine. So, these are your questions and now I will not be showing you the slide, I will be just reading out the passage for you. Okay, uh, and then uh, I will be, uh, we will be discussing the answers later. So, here is a brief description of two and four stroke diesel engines in made below. I hope you are listening to me carefully. Almost twice the power can be developed with a two stroke engine compared 
with a 4 stroke engine. A comparison between a typical 12 liter 4 stroke engine and a 7 liter 2 stroke engine having the same speed range would show that they would develop similar torque and power ratings. In a 4 stroke engine the same parts generate power and empty and fill the cylinders. With the 2 stroke engine the emptying and filling can be carried out by light rotary components with a 2 stroke engine 40 to 50 percent more air consumption is necessary for the same power output therefore, the air pumping work done will be proportionally greater. About 10 to 20 percent of the upward stroke of a two stroke engine must be sacrificed to emptying and filling the cylinder. The time available for emptying and filling a cylinder is considerably less in a two stroke cycle engine something like 33 percent of the completed cycle as compared to 50 percent in a four stroke engine. Therefore, more power will be needed to force a greater mass of air into the cylinder in a shorter time. Compared with a two stroke engine more power is needed by the piston for emptying and filling the cylinder in a four stroke engine due to pumping and friction losses at low speeds. At higher engine speeds the situation is reversed and uh, the two strokes roots blower will consume proportionally more engine power. This could be up to 15 percent of the developed power at maximum speed. With reduced engine load for a given speed a two stroke engine blower will consume proportionally more of the power developed by the engine. A two stroke engine runs smoother and relatively quietly due to the absence of reversals of loading on bearings as compared with a four stroke engine. And here are your answers. The first answer a comparison between a typical 12 liter four stroke engine and a 7 liter two stroke engine having the same speed range would show that they would develop similar torque and power ratings. Second answer twice. Third blank in a dash engine the same parts generate power and empty and fill the cylinder answer is four stroke engine. Next is 40 to 50 percent more and the last one the time available for dash and filling a cylinder is so answer is emptying. So, thank you very much and we will be ready with our next topic in our next class.